In the famous words of bad news, Barrett, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Welcome back, guys, to Son of Scotland. It's the WWE 2K23 GM mode. We're playing as SmackDown. We're playing as Carter Angle. And we're going to win this GM mode, whether we have to do it healthy or whether we have to do it with a broken freaking neck. But what one thing we are going to have to do it with is a corrupted save file. Yes, guys, had to restart the draft. Bad news. As you can see, we are in week one. We should be in week two. We were in week two. Week two actually happened, but then disaster struck and we had to go back to the beginning. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to waste any time. I have quickly done the draft again. Now, I tried to do an identical draft to the last time. However, unfortunately, guys, that just wasn't possible. So, yeah, the bad news is we had to restart, but some more even badder news than that is we had to swap some guys. So, we didn't get Rey Mysterio. Instead, we had to get Ricochet instead of Rey Mysterio. Uh, Rey Mysterio. We didn't get Gunther. Instead, we had to settle for Braun Strowman, and we got stuck with Happy Corbin too. So this is our new roster going forward. We've got Roman Reigns. He's still champ. Bianca Belair. She's still champ. we still got Ronda Rousey, Nakamura, Edge, and Randy Orton. So a lot of the main guys, we managed to keep the same. However, like there is some new additions, and uh, we've got Braun Strowman, Carmella, Ricochet, Happy Corbin, R-Truth, Queen Selena, Lazy Evans, Raquel, and Shotzi. So, yeah, it sucks, but what can I do, guys? We're just going to quickly go over the first show, and then we will move straight in to week two. But I'm going to give Lazy Evans a rematch, because... In the original week one, she did beat Bianca Belair. Will she beat her again, though? No. I don't know. What we're going to do is we're just going to sim all these matches because, like, I feel like I've already done it. So, yeah, let's just quickly go through these and let's see what we get. So, simulate the opening one. Can Lazy Evans pull off the upset? No, she can't. I feel bad for Lazy Evans that she's been kind of screwed here. But, uh, yeah, Bianca Belair picked up a win. Then we have Ronda Rousey calling out Bianca Belair. Promo was only okay. I wanted to start a rivalry, and I don't think it did. Uh, Queen Selena versus Raquel Rodriguez. And Queen Selena beats Rodriguez. Did she cheat? I don't know. Who knows? Maybe she hit her with that big scepter thing. I don't know. We've got Braun Strowman, right? I'm turning Braun Strowman heel. This big bitch in his red chino, just, he should not be a face, okay? He's just not a face. He's not a good guy. He can't be like seven foot tall, look like a monster, and run around being a good guy. That can't be the case, you know? Look at Kane. Kane didn't come in pretending to be nice and shaking people's hands. No, fuck that. He tried to kill The Undertaker. Yeah, he, he was ripping steel cage doors off their hinges. So that's what I want to see Braun Strowman do. I want to see Braun Strowman come out and destroy people, put them in the hospital. I don't want to see him coming out with his, you know, tight skinny jeans. Looks like he's dressing to get into a gay bar, man. Screw that shit. Speaking of gay bars, we've got Happy Corbin up next. He looks pretty gay. He's taking on Nakamura. Who's going to win this one? It's going to be Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura. He wins in a yeah, two-star match again there. So not bad with Edge calling out Roman Reigns. And it's a repeat of the opening match that I did originally. So Randy Orton, Roman Reigns. Who's going to win? Randy Orton. Wow. So Randy Orton defeats Roman Reigns. So it uh, looks like it was just all the results changed around. So... First time we did it, Roman Reigns and Bianca Belair picked up uh, Ronda, no, not Ronda Rousey, what's her name? Lacey Evans, yeah, so. Well, first time we did it, Lacey Evans and Roman Reigns got the wins. This time around, it was it was the opposite. But we're going to skip these two shows here. NXT, I know it's got John Cena. It's a massive pick for them. So there's the shows. We'll find out how we've done. Uh, I think we've done okay there. In terms of quality, it was probably slightly better than the last show that we did. But is it good enough to beat Raw in NXT? No, it wasn't good enough to beat Raw. I don't think we'll beat NXT either. But you know what? It wasn't a bad opening show. We didn't know. So NXT actually leaked away. Guess that's what happens when you big match, John. So that is how things stand, guys. Adam Pearce in NXT lead the way. You've got Stephanie Mann and Raw in second place. And you've got us in third with Roman Reigns and Bianca Bell. Air. So this is where we're going to end up. We will now start week two. This is the real beginning of episode three. We just had to get that dirty work over with at the beginning. But here we go, guys. Ready. We're caught up. We're ready to get back in to GM mode. So we have booked our show for week two. We're in New Orleans. It's costing us £15,500. That's going to come out of our 59.2. 05 budget, but I'm hoping 
We're going to have a better week this week. And uh, maybe we can close the ground on Raw and NXT. But with that said, let's go. Let's do it. Some big matches tonight. We've got some rematches and we've got some important matches that could result in rematches. So let's find out what we get. Opening match. Got Bianca Belair taking on Carmella. However, Lacey Evans, who was not happy last week about Bianca Belair, has came out. She's done a run-in to try and cost her the match and it hasn't worked. So, um, yeah, pretty crazy there. Lazy Evans coming out, trying to help Carmella, and it didn't work. Bianca Belair gets the win. Anyway, now we get Randy Orton calling out Roman Reigns. Hey, Roman, I beat you last week, brother. How about me, you, hell in a cell? <laughs> title match. Randy Orton wants a title match. Will Roman Reigns give him one, though? That's what we have to wait and find out. Hopefully. Hopefully. I mean, Ro Roman Reigns lost. He's the first... Time he's been pinned in, like, what, three years? So if anybody deserves a title shot, it's bloody Randy Orton. Maybe he can put a sleeper hold on Roman Reigns and finally end this near 1,000-day title reign. But good promo for Randy Orton. Right, rematch from last week. Happy Corbin was sad Corbin. He wasn't happy. He lost in Nakamura. So he's going to try and uh, get, um, get, one, get one over on Naka tonight. He's going to try and get some revenge. So here we go. Happy Corbin, Nakamura. And it didn't work. It looks like Happy Corbin is a fully grown jobber at this stage. Again, he loses to Nakamura! So, uh, yeah, up next we have Raquel calling out uh, Queen Selena. Obviously lost last week. Queen Selena hit her with that, you know, that golden crown stick thingy. And Raquel's not happy. She wants another match. Will she get another match? We do not know. We will have to wait and see. But, yeah, right now. It might happen. It might not happen. We'll just wait and find out, I guess. Uh, Braun Strowman and Ricochet. So, Braun Strowman last week turned heel. I think it's fair to say he could be back. The real Braun Strowman. If, as Slim Shady would say, would the real Braun Strowman please stand up? Because he's been sitting down for far too long, guys. We're going to play this match. I'm going to go Braun Strowman. And hopefully, I can kick Ricochet's ass. That's the game plan. Will we be able to accomplish the game plan? We will find out. But here we go. Ah yes, Braun Strowman, the smoke, here he is, the monster is back, Braun Strowman is here, no more face turns, no more good guy Braun Strowman, this is the monster among men, this is the guy that basically stopped, this is the guy that terrorised Monday Night Raw and Roman Reigns every single week. He was throwing ambulances. He was turning them over. He was destroying everything in sight. And now the only thing in his sight is about a 60-pound ricochet. And we are absolutely going to run over him like the Braun Strowman Express train. So, Ricochet, get your wee skinny, scrawny ass out here because the monster among men is back. And we might even have to change those red skinny jeans because they don't look good. I'm just saying, Braun. They make you look a little bit gay. But here we go. It's Ricochet now coming out. And if, if Braun Strowman doesn't win this, man, if Braun Strowman doesn't get back to winning ways, and then it's not really much of a monster, is it? If you cannot beat Ricochet, you can't be a monster. To beat Ricochet, or to be a monster even, you, you need to beat this guy. Him and his little entrance that ain't that cool, to be honest. But whatever, this guy thinks he's great. We're going to hopefully prove tonight that he is not that. He was the King of the Ring a few years ago. Uh, if anyone can remember that, then good luck because <laughs> it was very uh, unforget. It was I was gonna say unforgetful. No, it was very forgettable, guys. Trust me, I'd already forgot it. I mean, honestly, back in the day, someone won the King of the Ring. You remember that? This guy won it, and or maybe it's just because I, I don't like Ricochet. Maybe it's because he sucks. I, I tried my best to forget it. Maybe that's it. But here we go, Ricochet Braun Strowman. Big big match tonight. Who is going to win, Braun Strowman? It's the battle of the two baldies. It is. The bald men are about to collide. And Braun Strowman now just going to close down Ricochet. And oh, yes. Big, oh, that's what I want to see. Big Braun Strowman working, working rough. You know, first shot, it looks stiff as fuck. And it nearly killed Ricochet. So, yeah, give me some more of that. Now Braun Strowman with the strike. Braun Strowman. Look at these knees. Massive knees. De Braun taking down Ricochet. Take that. And Braun Strowman, look at that. He's breathing it in. He's enjoying it. This new heel life. 
is good for Braun Strowman, but Ricochet back to his feet. Braun Strowman, he, he, he face decks, <laughs> he, he plants his face right into the mat, that's not good, that's not good at all. Ricochet then, forearm smash, Braun Strowman comes over, gets a boot to the back from Ricochet, and Ricochet now, he's going to need to fly high you feel, he's going to need to be pulling off all his big manoeuvres, and that was a big one there, Hurricane Rana, now he's, he's trying to, he's trying to stop Braun from breathing, he's got my sleeper. Head scissors take down and Braun Strowman. Look at that powers out. Not today. This is a new and improved Braun Strowman. You ain't beating him with a move like that. But what's this? Massive weird submission here for Ricochet. Crazy submission, but Braun Strowman's gonna power out of it. Look at this. Braun Strowman into sidewalk slam. It's a massive slam for Strowman. Oh, and then he just wipes Ricochet out. He ran him over, but Ricochet, oh my god, roll up. And that could have done it. Ricochet trying to steal the win here, Braun Strowman not having it again, Ricochet, head scissors taking down Strowman, trying to keep Strowman down, trying to keep him on the ground, grounding the big giant, Strowman rolls it the way the drop kick though, Ricochet crashes there, doesn't quite burn, but it was a crash nonetheless, and now Braun Strowman with a clothesline, takes down the smaller man, right, Braun Strowman, got him up, whoa, big power slam, Massive power slam there for Braun Strowman. That was crazy. Ricochet shot to the midsection. Strowman goes down. And can Strowman get at this? He can. Again, Strowman just like... He, he kicks out so easily, man. Just powers little Ricochet off him. Ricochet trying to roll through. But Roman Strowman, again, more shots. Sledgehammer-like hands from Braun Strowman. Forget about Triple H. We don't need sledgehammers. Our horns are sledgehammers. And boom, massive choke slam there on Ricochet, and you feel like this one could be about to finish for Ricochet. Strowman with a knee, then a double axe handle to the back of King Ricochet. He doesn't look like a king anymore. He looks like a bloody small little peasant. And oh, and Roman, <laughs> he just catches catch them with a splash in the corner, and Braun here could be about to finish it. No, Ricochet, good counter, take down, grab the arm. Momentarily got Braun Strowman off of him. Hooks up. Oh, he went. Oh, no, he went for Oregon Rana. Strowman countered it. Oh, and there's another power bomb. Oh, my. Another power bomb here on Ricochet. Ricochet in trouble. In massive trouble. Strowman's hands are like big, massive fucking boulders dropping through the sky. If one lands on you, you're dead. Oh, and another clothesline takes down Ricochet. And I think Ricochet, he, he can't have much left in the tank. Surely not. I don't think so. Into the corner he goes, and now Braun Strowman is going to lift them up. Maybe going for Snake Eyes. Ricochet with the counter. Good counter for Ricochet. Neck breaker. Strowman having to go to the outside here, trying to break the distance. Oh my God! And still Ricochet. I don't know. If, did he connect? Or did, but did I don't know? Did he kick that? Or did Braun move it the way? Whatever though. He crashed there, and wow, that was a big maneuver that didn't really pay off for Ricochet. And now we're going to see. What Strowman can do on the outside, he just lifts them up and drops them face first onto the barricade. Ricochet now, this is not what he wants to be. He doesn't want to be on the outside. There's so many dangerous things that Braun Strowman can do to you out here. And uh, I think Ricochet could be a bit a taste one, but no, Ricochet again. Those, those kicks to the, the gut, man, they keep taking Braun down. Braun can't handle them. It's almost like Braun's weak spot is his stomach. Every time Ricochet hits somebody, Braun falls to the deck, like a big sack of spuds, a big sack of red spuds, but here we go, oh, another Hurricane Rana, takes down Braun Strowman, lands on the back of his head, and the referee's at a count of eight here, Ricochet's not, we're going to risk it, Ricochet, oh, and look at that, Ricochet didn't want to win, wow, that's crazy, Ricochet could have took the cheap option there, he could have went for the count out victory, but looks like he didn't want to win that way, he wants to beat Braun Strowman the right way, the fair way. He wants to do it in the ring, and Braun Strowman didn't think he was that flexible, but it, I guess he proved me wrong. Had a big, and again, Ricochet doing stairs. Ricochet, with these strikes, man, he catches you and you're down. You can't do much about it. Braun Strowman in the ring again. Ricochet. Ricochet going to the top rope here. Braun Strowman trying to get to his feet. Ricochet is waiting. Oh, and Strowman catches him and throws him off. Oh no, Ricochet wasted too much time there. Way too much time for Ricochet. Now Strowman going for a choke slam perhaps. Oh, massive choke slam. Massive choke slam for 
He brought in Strowman, Ricochet trying to get back to his feet. Strowman again though, big massive strikes here. Oh, I went for a clothesline, Ricochet again dodged it. But Strowman now with knees in the corner. And these knees will drain every bit of oxygen you have left in you. And now Strowman going for a big boot. Oh, no, no, he brings the final one down on the chest. He, he ricochet, and I tell you what, I tell you what, I think Strowman could be about to put Ricochet away. No, Ricochet doing. Oh, code breaker for Ricochet! Out of absolutely nowhere! And, oh, and Strowman! Strowman kicked out. He had to use the resiliency. Strowman at the last second. Kicking out just when we thought Ricochet could have done it there. Ricochet go on top rope. Oh, he went for the moonsault and he missed. He went for the moonsault and he missed. And Braun Strowman now has got... Oh, but Ricochet counters the running power slam and hits a reverse DDT. Strowman's down again. And Strowman though. Strowman with a massive kick out. Strowman didn't even see... Oh, and he takes his head off. Man, someone check on Ricochet. The guy literally could be dead there. And now Strowman lifting him up. Fall away slam. Ricochet just landing halfway across the ring here. Strowman throwing him into the ropes. Ricochet trying to escape. Strowman again with another knee to the midsection. And now, can we put Ricochet away for good? We've got him sitting on the middle rope. And now, oh, oh my god, Gorilla Press Slam. Look at this. Just throwing him into the middle of the ring there. That could be all she wrote. Or does Strowman have something else in mind? Strowman now going for double underhook. Oh, double underhook. Suplex. Strowman pulling out all the big moves now. Strowman, oh. Ricochet's going to try and escape. He's going to crawl to the side. Roll to the side. But you can't escape, Ron Strowman. He will come after you. And he will find you. And he's found Ricochet. And now Ricochet's going to have to look in the third row if he wants to find his head. But it came off his body there. That was massive. From Braun, oh and now Braun, top rope, big Braun Strowman, big Braun, hits an elbow drop, oh that's crazy for Braun Strowman, and now he's going to look for that running power slam, and this will end it, this will put, but no, Ricochet again, counters Nickbreaker, Ricochet, look at him, he just cannot seem to put this guy down, but what can we do now? Come on, Braun Strowman, finally do something man, finally put this guy away for good, another, oh he counters it again, what is, what is Ricochet doing here? What the fuck is this? What is that? Hey, Ricochet, Jesus. Oh, and again, that, that big running standing splash from Strowman. And now we've got Strowman with the knees. I think Strowman's a little bit frustrated that he's not put Ricochet away yet. I thought he would have done it by now, but fair play, Ricochet does seem to be... Oh, but that knee could have... That knee could have wiped them out. There we go. Braun Strowman. Oh, Ricochet counters it. Rolls through again. Ricochet buying himself some time. Boot for Ricochet. Strowman's down. Ricochet going to the top rope. Oh, but he went no. Oh my god, Ricochet went for the whatever you want to call his maneuver. He missed it and he always oh, curled it again. What is Ricochet? Seriously, Ricochet's fucking pissing me off here. How many counters does he have in the tank, man? He keeps he keeps countering that running power slam. I don't think we can beat him with that. We need to find something else. I don't think we can we can beat him with a running power slam because he just does not want to he doesn't want to lose Ricochet. Hurricane ran a Strowman done again. And what's Ricochet going for this time? They're going for the people's elbow, what the fuck is this? What is... Oh, a standing moonsault. That's a mad manoeuvre there. And now Braun Strowman needs to try and... Braun Strowman needs to go up here. Strowman catches him, right? Can Strowman finally put Ricochet away here? I don't care what move it is, let's just beat him. Seriously, choke slam. Choke slam his ass. Right, massive choke slam. That'll do it, man. Let's just put this little midget away. Screw Ricochet. Boom, there you go. Running power slam wouldn't happen. It's not the way I wanted to beat him. But you know what? Choke slam has worked for a shitload of people. Worked for Taker, worked for Kane, worked for Big Show. And now, 
it worked for the monster among men, Braun Strowman. Big win for Braun. A lot harder than I expected it to be. Ricochet put up a fight. But in the end, Braun Strowman is the man. And Braun Strowman is the guy that wins this match. So two and a half stars. Not bad. Not bad at all. And now we move in to the last couple of segments of the show. We have Edge cutting a promo. Hopefully Edge can deliver. He uh, hasn't had a match yet. I might look. I, I might try and get Edge a match next week. I was originally going to do Edge versus Reigns, but when Randy Orton pulled off the massive upset on Roman Reigns, I felt like I had to give Orton a chance at the title. So yeah, but here we go. Main event of SmackDown. Roman Reigns taking on R Truth. Roman Reigns expected to win, and Roman Reigns, of course, does win. So he wasn't happy he lost last week. He's making up for it this week by picking on poor old our truth and it's an easy win for Roman Reigns in the end and it's a three star match as well so overall that was pretty good man I'm happy with that but now we need to see what Raw and NXT do hopefully they don't have a good week and we can try and get some fans off them in this GM mode I'm excited actually I thought we had a, a decent show all of our matches seem to do okay I mean there was, wasn't one it wasn't like a standout great match but at the same time I don't feel like there was anything overly bad so I'm hoping that uh, it was enough for us to, to get a win. We see Elias there beating Logan Paul. Now we have an Alba Fire promo. And a uh, title match. US title then being decided in the main event. It's Julius Creed and Damian Priest. Who's going to win this one? It's going to be Julius Creed. Wow. Okay, Julius Creed is the new US champion then on Monday Night Raw. Wasn't expecting that. Moving on to NXT now. We've got... The NXT champion, Alexa Bliss, she loses to Dewdrop. I wonder what happened to Dewdrop Eater. Is that how she won? Pinfall? Or did she just put Alexa Bliss on a plate and fucking shoved her in her mouth? Maybe that's what she done. Uh, tag team action now. It was a win for Giovanni Finchie and Escobar, mediocre match. So we also have a women's tag team titles on the line. We'll see how they go. Bailey and Tamina versus Natalia and Lib Morgan. It's a win for Tamina and Bailey. Uh, self promo now from MVP, and then in the main event, it's the North American Championship on the line. It's Dexter Loomis versus Karrion Cross, and we've got a new champ. Dexter Loomis defeats Karrion Cross. Four star match. Damn it, man! NXT is kicking ass at the moment. So here's how the ratings look. Then, so I mean, overall, we pretty much tied draw on everything apart from the opener, whereas NXT beat us in everything apart from the first mid-card match and even that match it was a tie so I think NXT is going to win this week by quite a big distance to be honest we get 37.2 thousand fans what did Raw do Raw I think will get about the same damn it they got 44 I'm not going to lie that was pretty that was a lot more than I was expecting Raw to get in NXT they could go over 50 because their show was really good 53.9 so yeah it's another week guys we're on the losing end we do win the health spar award but if we look at the rankings now, we can see that we are behind NXT and Monday Night Raw. And yeah, the gap is beginning to get pretty big. I don't like it, guys. Two weeks in and NXT's kicked their ass. But look at the champs NXT have. Jesus Christ. How's Tosawa and Dewdrop your champions, you know? <laughs> How can I show with those two as the, the champs? The main champs be beating us. Doesn't make a lot of sense, guys. It really does not. Next week, we're in San Antonio, Texas. I wish we were bringing back the heartbreak, kid. But unfortunately... We are not, so we'll have to bring, I don't know, maybe we'll try and bring somebody back. Uh, we'll see what happens, but yeah, I'm going to book lots of good matches, guys, and hopefully on our third show, maybe it'll be third time lucky, maybe we will finally get it right, and we will beat both Raw and NXT. But that's going to do it, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. We'll catch you, of course, in the next video, and until then, peace.